I can get back and get back, get back. How's everybody? I'm so happy to be back. Hi, Dale. Hi, Elga. Hi, Dawn. Hi, guys. Hi, hi, hi. So who's in the mood for a little bitty cute cow? <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all all for your um, prayers and everything. It was a um, really hard time for my husband and also me. You know, we are all a very close-knit family, and but um, we're doing great. Hi, LB. Hi, Debbie. Hi, hi, hi. If y'all wouldn't mind spreading a little love, letting everybody know I'm back out here. I know I posted the other day, but... And I didn't, uh, I don't post before my live. So if y'all would spread some love for me, I would dearly appreciate it. So tonight we're going to be doing this cute, cute little cow. I got this cow from Ashley, Ashley Barnes from Sugar Pepper Designs that does signs. So she's trying out and she has this one in her shop. Um, but she sent me this one and I thought it was stinking, stinking adorable. It's got eyelashes. I don't know what I'm going to call her, but I'll figure out a name or maybe y'all could help me. And I had already had this, um, farmer market milk jug dairy deal. So I'm going to put this in the wreath too. So we're going to have these two in together. I thought that they would, uh, hi Janie. I didn't forget you, sweetheart. Hi. Hi, Patty. I never forget anybody. Always everybody's in my heart. So, um, I thought I would pair these two together. So, I'm going to set these. I'm going to sort of set them right here so that um, people joining us can see them for a little bit. Maybe set that one up there by its ear. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Um, so I'm going to be using a 15 inch elevated wreath form. Um, the reason for that is because if I go a little smaller, I'm not going to have enough real estate in here to do, um, everything that I want to do to this, to this gorgeous, um, cow. So has anyone come up with names for my little cow yet? Elsie. Ooh, Elsie the cow. Whoa, whoa, that's a good one. Who else has got a name for my little heifer? <laughs> I say that with, with the, the nicest content. <laughs> but I'm in a really good mood. I got back Heidi the heifer. <laughs> well, Cookie, Cookie's so sweet. Bluebell. <laughs> Those are awesome names. <laughs> oh, Thank you, Brenda. I missed all of you guys, too. I, I, uh, I love doing lives. It makes my uh, week to, be, to come on and share what I do with you guys. And whoever wants to jump on, I, I just enjoy the heck out of it. So I'm going to put our little milk can down. Molly Moo. Oh, that's a good one. Molly Moo. Hi, Karen. This is our little cow. So I'm going to set these over here to this side. And I'm just going to bring the camera in, down just a little bit. And I'm going to see if I can't. See, I knew I would have something turned up. Hi, Tanisha. Hi, Kay. Moo. Murini. <laughs> That's cute, Karen. Hi, Sandy. Hi. Or Sandra. I'm sorry. I don't... Oh, thank you, Brenda, for the start. So, tonight I'm streaming both on YouTube and Facebook. So, I do have a YouTube channel, and it's Desert Recreation. And um, I'm happy, and I'll be reading comments for both places. So, I love it, love it, love it. Oh, thanks, Tanisha. I'm glad to be back. I've, I've dearly missed this. 
And we got back last Wednesday. Let me put my face in here. We got back last Wednesday, guys, and uh, late that night. But I just needed some uh, right frame of mind. So I sat in here and I made probably eight wreaths. Um, um, if I remember, if y'all remind me at the end of the live, I'll show you some of them that I made. I just needed that craft time because that is, um, how I relieve my stress and everything. So, um, but I'll be sharing them also on my page and, and taking pictures and everything like that. So I know that everyone deals with things in a different way and, and I sort of took up on crafting and wreath making as mine. Okay, so enough about that. Let's get started. 15 inch elevated wreath form. You hear me? Yeah. <clears throat> and we're going to be using three different colors of mesh. This is um, red and it's got the, like the burlap in it and it's checked like a, um, hi Shirley, how are you? Um, and this was one I got at Christmas time for like gingerbread man and all. And this one come from, uh, of all places, Hobby Lobby. So I'm telling you guys, if y'all can um, find this next year, this is an awesome mesh. If they have it next year, y'all yeah, hear you, Janie. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the woodland ruffle. I cut each piece to 30 inches. I roll them three times on each end. And then I'm just going to ruffle it up the center, okay? Haven't done this method in a while, and I thought this would look extremely cute. And now I'm just going to lay it down in here and twist it, spread it out. Then I have um, this black. This is a black with um, the jute stripe down it. And what I like about these, Nellie's a good name. Yes, Nellie is a good name for a cow. Making your wreaths, yeah. So, um, all of this is cut, like I said, to um, 30 inches. I'm just rolling it three times on each end. The, the jute doesn't seem to fray. And neither as, as much. All mesh is going to fray, so I want to make sure I got that in there. Um, I'm going to hold this one over whoops, with my hand. Put this one down. That way they're butted up together on that side. I know, this is my favorite mesh. And this one here, like I said, I got it from Hobby Lobby at Christmas time. But you know, it's a fabric mesh. You can feel a little, little bit of the polypropylene or the plastic in it, but this, it, it I tell you, it's a really good mesh. <clears throat> and now we're going to do just the natural jute in it. So we're um, putting three different colors in it, but all together, you only use, cutting it at 30 inches, you only use about a uh, roll and not even a half. And... Um, so you have those other pieces to either make another one or something else. Oh, I bet it was. Oh, my gosh. Well, congratulations, Janie. Thank you. Yeah, I, I kept thinking, what colors am I going to put in this? And I'm like, no, I think this is, you know, because it's more of a farmhouse. It's a cow. Um, what better suits it than that? So I think it'll do really good. Bessie the cow. Oh, yeah. So whoever's just jumping on, um, we're trying to name the cow. Throwing out some good names for a cow. Yeah, I like those too. The green uh -huh, and the blue. I actually got some of those. I, because uh, since I don't live by Hobby Lobby, well, you know, hour and a half away. So when I go and if they've got any in stock, I get me some when it's half the price. Yeah, Ashley just lost her dad, guys, if y'all didn't know. She lost her dad last week. 
So there's been a lot of um, sorrow in the world right now. You have those also, Karen? Yeah. They're a good staple. And I love them for fall and for um, Christmas. They're really good. Those colors are exceptionally. And for everyday farmhouse, they're a really good fit. Okay, pulling it to the side. I'm just doing it the same way, three on each end. So what is ever, all of my friends out there been doing lately? What have you been making? Give me the scoop. I'm out of the know here. Yeah, yeah. I'm totally out of the know. Guys, if you haven't seen, I released the the uh, Big Bow tutorial. It's uh, for sale, the tutorial is, and it comes with making two different size bows, an extra large one that I made on my Bumblebee swag. Oh, a square B? Oh, I bet that's awesome. You know, I've only made one square wreath. Only one. I think that's right after they come out with those square frames. I don't know why. I've got plenty of them. I have to look up my whole walls, my, my wreath frames. I'll have to do something. I know that... Um, you know that Dollar Tree has those star frames, and I need to just try my hand. Hey, KP. Oh, I know. I saw your pictures, doll. KP made the most gorgeous angel, angel wings. She made two sets of them for um, a graveside, and they turned out so precious to lay there on the grave. I saw those pictures. Awesome. <laughs> but anyway, the um, the bow tutorials in my shop, guys. And I had so much fun making it. But you know, guys, I love to teach. Love, love to teach. Okay, we're boogieing around this tonight, guys. I know, I told KP I was going to have to find some of those metal angel wings. And I know I've seen them at places, but I can't remember where I saw them. I can't remember at all. You guys out there know what I'm talking about? Those metal angel wings that you can add stuff um, to them. If y'all remember where you um, can find them at. Oh, thanks, Ash. Oh, I bet. And lemons. Oh, my goodness. You've been busy. Busy, busy. This piece of the ju uh, the burlap uh, poly jute is a little bit darker because um, those come off of a different row. So sometimes you don't know until you get. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, but I don't want two together. So I'm just going to slap another black one in there. <laughs> Wreaths of Joy. Oh, okay. I'll have to look over there. Um, 
I saw hers and I'm thinking, man, I'd love to make some. Love, love, love it. Like I said, I'm using a 15 inch elevated work form today in order to have enough real estate to do everything. I nearly went ahead and made an oval out of it. Then I thought, no, because that cow's pretty wide. Oh, that's a cute name. <laughs> a plosy. <laughs> that's cute. Okay. So we've made our first round. So now we're going to open these ties, guys. Open them up. Then we got one heck of a um, Francis is cute. Yeah. Uh, a storm here last night. There was tornadoes all around us. And you know what? I didn't even know it. I knew it was storming. I was because I was up late. But um, I'm going to start off with a red one. Um, but I, they were showing on the news a while ago. There was like three or four, and they were they had pictures of them, and they were telling what type they were and all of that, which means nothing to me. So, but it's pretty scary. And then two of the storm chasers that chase the tornadoes for information and all um, got killed. Three of them. Three of them got killed in Kansas last night. That is sad. Okay. So I'm just sort of making sure all of this stands at attention. And go on to the next one. Let's go ahead. Let's put a light one. No, let's put a dark one. Can't make up my mind. Do they? Yeah, I wanted the metal ones. The metal ones I just thought were absolutely stunning. And I, I thought that if I made them, they would go on my uh, mother's grave. Might make two pair, one for mother and one for dad. Hi, Anna. How are you? We're making a cow wreath tonight. So just make sure you've got it all butted up good next to each other. On the, this outside especially coming up, guys. I just now realized I had a mint in my mouth, and that's very rude of me. Sorry, guys. Oh, thank you, Anna. Thank you for the stars. That's so sweet. Yes, it was very terrible. Very terrible. Oh. But anyway, we needed the moisture out of the rain. While we were gone to New Mexico, we got like five inches of rain, guys. I did the happy dance. Happy dance. Everything was so dry. New Mexico's burning up. That's enough sad. Let's talk happy. Let's talk the weddings and babies. That's happy stuff. I've got a couple. Um, I'm I think I figured out how I can do my grapevines on an easel. Here on the table and I've got some coming up and I can't wait um, a couple of them or maybe one of them is going to be a boho chic I thought that would be awesome um, I made an apple one 
when I got back. And um, I may make another one. Oh, did you? Isn't that, you know, Facebook is something else, but who's going to complain? I'm not. It's going to be a happy day. Happy day, happy day. We're making beautiful stuff. What more could we ask for, guys, right? It's going to be a really full wreath. A lot of um, country colors. Country, farmhouse, whatever you want to call it. Right. <laughs> you go, Anna. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How true. And my ribbon choice, y'all know me, is sort of off the wall. So I hope it turns out. Hi, Miss Carrie. Can they go really well to Gary. Thank you, Karen. And if I don't see comments, it's because sometimes they just skip by for some reason. Strange, but it happens. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Janie, are you cooking dinner? Okay, one last piece, and we'll be all the way around. Okay, last one. Well, hi, Darlene. How have you been? Just a guess. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull this one to the side, put my hand down in here, and go right in there like so. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, go ahead and share your cow. That's perfectly fine. Okay, got it all butted up. That's our base. There you go. Here's our cow. And we're also going to be putting a milk jug in and some pretties. Got to put some ribbon. Let's do our ribbon first. Okay. So y'all know me, I sort of took the cow here. So it's got a little pink on her ears and on her snout. So what better way than this pink? And I don't know how I got that to match so well together. These were using all one and a half inch ribbons. Thank you, Kathy. How are you been? And um, right now we're going to do the pink with the, the lace. I call it panty ribbon. And we're going to do this. It's got that uh, gingham edge and it's black. Hilda, oh, Michael. <laughs> and 
and I cut these tonight, guys, to 14 inches. These ribbons are cut to 14 inches. So I'm just going to fold them in half. And I'm going to put them down into a tie. And it doesn't really matter which way you spread them. But I'm going to crisscross them tonight. And just spread them out. I wanted some of this pretty mess to show. And now the next one. Guys, we had to have some bandana ribbon. Right? Let me pull this in a little bit so you can see better. We had to have a little bandana. She's got red lips. And now I'm pairing it with a panty ribbon that's got the black gingham in it. <laughs> with the cute lips. Yes, she does, Brenda. <laughs> so we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to fold this in half. And organ fold it. You know, uh, I bet it was absolutely stunning. I'm going to do the same thing here. Just going to crisscross these. And like I said, I cut these to 14 inches. Now the next set of ribbons, I have the black cow ribbon. Oh, never late, Susan, never late. So I've got the black cow ribbon. And then I have the red gingham with the lace. Lots of pretty penny ribbon going on, guys. Yes, she does, doesn't she, Karen? <laughs> so I'm going to go to this next one and do the same thing. And stuck. And I like to take my fingers and make the have the the for the ribbon to have a curve in it, guys. That's sort of stuck. There we go. And then the ribbons are just going to repeat itself. Hi, Melinda. Thank you, Miss Elga. <laughs> Pucker up, boys. <laughs> the cow ribbon I got from, um, um, let me look. I believe I got it. It's an RG ribbon, so I probably got it from Craft Outlet, just the one and uh, the one and a half inch. I also have it in a two inch, but this one and a half inch feels it's got a texture to it, and man, does it feel just like rubbing a cow. I should know. I was raised on a farm, so I believe I got it at Craft Outlet. And I got the bandana ribbon from Craft Outlet. I had the two and a half, but I had never seen the one and a half in it. Oh, thanks, Susan. 
And I wanted to make it where you could find the supplies at, uh, all in one place. Here we go. We're just going to keep going around. Love these ribbons. If y'all are new, just tell me hi. I'm, I'm not a bugger. Some people are shy. So 14 inches folded in half. <laughs> it was craft outlet. Thank you. Usually I write it on there. Uh, a CO means craft, but I didn't. So I know that's usually my most likable spot that I get it from. Coming on around, guys. You're shy? <laughs> nah, Karen. You know, I used to be real introverted um, when I was a kid in school. I didn't like to talk or anything. or um, And boy, did I learn when I had to go to college that I had to get out of that. And so I slowly grew out of a lot of it. But still, if I'm around a lot of people that I don't know, or they don't know me, because I'm a jibber-jabberer now, I, I sort of um, get quiet. And my dad said I was a screaming idiot when I was a baby, so I guess that means I must have been crying a lot. <laughs> oh, Ashley. Ashley didn't eat steak for the longest, guys. She said, Ugh, don't like steak, don't like steak. Well, she tried it without, with just salt and pepper and cooked. Now she thinks she needs one at every meal. I'm telling on her, guys. Oh, that sounds good. My husband fixed me one the other night. I think uh, uh, Saturday night we had a steak. Same way, yeah. I would rather just eat vegetables. I love vegetables. I love vegetables and I love fruit. But then there's that craving I get all the time called candy, sugar, chocolate. <laughs> A naked steak girl. The only problem with using sets of ribbons like this, you'll come across to where you'll have two ribbons next to each other. I don't mind. I think I need to do a wreath in this pink color and this black color. What? Oh, chocolate's my favorite. Oh. Okay, guys. So we got the ribbons around the outside. Okay. So now let's stick them on the inside right quick. You're <laughs> yes, I love dark chocolate. Yeah, I'll take dark chocolate over milk chocolate. Uh, 
Oh, we had cow last night. <laughs> Must get, be getting old. Yeah, we did have cow last night, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, same way on the top. Just going to spread them out, guys. Pull these up here to the top there. Just making a big X. And I lift them up and spread them apart, really. Um, and then I just take them fingers and just smooth them over, guys. Just smooth them over so they lay down really nice and pretty. You know, I used to be a lemon person, but through the years, I just don't really care for it except in some sweet tea. Not, And I don't use sweet pea. I do um, that pink stuff. I don't know the names of them. I'll go pink stuff or blue stuff or yellow stuff. And I like the pink stuff in my tea. Cinnabons. Oh, anything like that. We don't dare bring them in the house because I think that it has to be eaten because it's going to be, it's going to spool. <laughs> you know, can't let it go to waste. Not even for a day. I have to eat it. It keeps calling my name. And see, and I don't like trivia. I use the yellow stuff in the morning in my coffee, and I use the pink stuff in my tea, and I think that's all of that kind of stuff I drink. Mm, raisinets, I love raisinets. I can sit up and eat a whole bag of raisins. Dried cranberries. It's a good thing I'm not on a diet. Splenda and sweet. Yeah, Splenda and sweet and low. I can't ever think of the names of them when I need to. <laughs> so I just tell them to bring me the, the yellow stuff or the pink stuff. Yeah, that's the ones I like, the dark chocolate raisinets. Okay, we've about got all of our ribbons in, guys. go. A couple more. Well, welcome from Indiana, Cindy. I'm, we're, I'm especially awesome to have you. We're making a little cow wreath with this adorable attachment. Isn't she cute? She's got her little lips puckered up. And we're doing the Woodland Ruffle Method. And we're just about through putting our ribbons on. Okay. Welcome to the farm. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. 
That's right. <laughs> Tomorrow we might be doing pigs. No, we're not. But I do love me a good farmhouse wreath. Last set of ribbons, and it happens to be the funny four. <laughs> oh, yeah. The funny four. Oh, I've never heard of Lily's chocolate either. I'm sure it's tasty. Here it is. I was fixing to say I can't find it. Oh, is it diabetic friendly? Oh. Okay, guys. The ribbons are on. Let's make a big deal. So here's what our ribbons look like. All one and a half inch ribbons around the outside and everything. We bought in a little farmhouse, a little farm. And um, so we're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put our cow on. And remember, we have this milk jug to go ahead and put on. We're going to put these on and then we're going to make a bow or bows depending on how it fits. Okay. So let's see what we're, how we're going to do this. Let's and I think Yep. Let me see how that's hanging off. Yep. I'm going to sort of angle that right there. And then I think we're going to put a bow right here and one right up here. Okay, to finish it off. A big loopy bow. Hi, Treva. Hi, Tammy. So, that's the way we're going to do that. So, let me put this cowl on there right quick. Are you new from Georgia, uh, Tammy? I can only see some comments. I don't know why. Okay. So I've got that one. Let me pull the other one. Thank you. Let me pull the other tie right there it is yes ma'am well welcome Tammy I'm glad you got to stop by and we're making this cutie everyone's been throwing names out there thank you I make all different kinds, swags, um, mesh wreaths, grapevines, centerpieces, you name it. Okay. So I'm just going to lift up because I'm going to pull down on her just a little bit. Thank you, KP. Okay, 
So there's the cow. And I'm going to put the milk jug right down here by her. And I'm actually going to overlap one of her little hoofs. And then we're going to put two bows up here, two big loopy bows. Oh, you're all, you no problem. Most of the people here are wreathers too. And I love to, I don't, I tell all my secrets. <laughs> and I don't mind questions, so. Okay, so let's get this one. I put two pipe cleaners on the back of this. So I'm going to tie the bottom one in first. Then after we do this and everything and get our bows on, we'll straighten up some of our um, ribbon tails. Just putting a little pressure on it, guys. Yeah. I'm like an open book. I think that that's what our community should be more like. And, um, so, okay, we got that on. Oops, I didn't get it over its little hoof. There we go. I wanted it just a little bit over its little hoof. Okay. Get your hind end over there. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Let me pull those ribbons. Okay, pulling it down taut. This, this one actually landed on a crossbar, which I love. I don't get that lucky all the time. Ooh, a tree of life would be gorgeous. Hi, Myrna. Thank you. You're never late. No one's ever late. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we've got our milk. Whoops. I want the cow to be more upright, and that's how I'll hang it. So now we got our milk. We got our milk on, guys. So let's make some bows. Okay. I love the poly jute, but man, does it shed. And I have to weed down my clothes, you know, with the lint roller. So let's bring in all the ribbons we use, since we use so many of them. And I'm also bringing in this uh, 5 eighths um, in the red gingham and in the black. I thought that would make it um, a little bit curlier and cuter. Oh, I bet. Thanks, Cindy. Hi, Lordies. Oh, thank you. Everything's great. Yeah, everything went good. My husband's doing good. So, my first night back, and I missed you guys dearly. Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do is, drum roll, I think I want to do, I'm going to start off with the black panty ribbon. It's the lace ribbon. All of these ribbons are one and a half. Okay. So it looks like we can do a really decent sized bow here, but I want to keep the tails minimal. Okay. I want to keep the tails minimal. And then I think I'll do a, um, just a tiny bit smaller down here, but with a few, a um, um, little bit longer um, tails. 
So let's come on out here to, let's say the seven inch. We're gonna twist and put it going up. We're gonna come all the way out here to the six inch. And we're gonna take this loop and we're gonna put it there. Always keeping your loops fluffed. This way you don't have to fluff your bow very little by the time we get it made, guys. And now we're gonna come this way. And we're gonna cut that off. You keep count of those. Let me come in a little bit for you guys so you can see how my hands are working. There you go. So we've got that one in there. I think that, um, I was thinking I used, let's put in a little bandana right down here. So we're gonna do this at a seven. This time we're gonna bring the tail down. Make sure you got plenty of ribbon out. And we're also gonna put this one at a six inch. Okay, but I'm going to sort of bring it down towards me. The six inch, push it down, and I'm going to take this tail up. We're making more of a rounded bow because of that space right there. And this one should go up. Um, from Sugar Pepper Designs, um... She dropped a link in, uh, Ashley, you want to drop your link again to your shop for the cow? So now we've got some red. So let's go back in with this black. Seven inches. I probably, I cut my tails once I get it on. We're going to go up with this one again. Teehee. <laughs> We're going to come on down to a five inch this time around. Pull it up. <laughs> five inch. And sort of pull it down and cut it off again. Then we're going to bring in this pretty pink for her little snout here. Bring it down. Just repeating and repeating is all I'm doing, guys. And I'm going to do this one at a five. Sort of pull it down. Pull it up and take our tail up. Pinky. <laughs> well, that's a cute name. Pinky the cow. Now we're going to put, what do you know, this one's already dovetailed. <laughs> We're going to put this one up, which is way too long. Let's do this one at a six. And we're going to come on down this time to four. So after each two ribbons, I've just come down an inch. Man, if I'd have thought I would have, y'all couldn't have put up with me if I'd have had a glass of wine. Loose lips sink battleships, is that the word? Now we're going to come on the top of this with a little bit of this red gingham. And we'll go to six. And let's bring it down. But all I'm going to do is about a three inch loop right there in the center. 
and cut it right there. That's our first bow. Okay, so I'm going to take these two pipe cleaners. I like to use pipe cleaners. You're more than uh, welcome. What's my husband saying on there? Bailey's and coffee? Your new favorite? <laughs> okay, let me pull them pins to the side. Go ahead and get your pipe cleaner ready. Push it to the side. I like to go ahead and push my ribbon up, slide my fingers in, and then I just lift the bow off. Slip it in each side. Put some pressure on it. Push and pull till you get it down there real tight. And then I'm going to twist the bow. That panty ribbon is awesome, isn't it? And I'm just pulling these tails out. You don't have you they can float in between your other ribbons. There's no right or wrong. Then I'm just gonna stick my fingers in my loops. That's all I'm doing. And you can pull them wherever you want them, guys. Mine are usually where I want them by the time I get my bow made. I think I'm going to pull that. See if that'll go right there. This is our little center loop. And that's our cute little bow. With a little bit of all those ribbons hanging around. Then I'm going to take my handy dandy weaving needle, fold those two over it, come right up here, hi Janie, welcome, we have another Janie on here too. Welcome, welcome. Then I'm just going to tie it to the frame. I like to pick it up and rock it. I've got something bent up in here. There we go. Pick it up and rock it to where I can get it snug, but not sink it way down into my wreath. And tie it off. Oh, thank you. I love it. Love, love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut some of these tails. When I do a bow, I cut my tails all different lengths. I just see what I think looks good, and that's how I cut my tails. some more over here. I don't like them so long that they hang over the side of my wreath. Then I just take my loops, flop them out if they need it. Okay, so there's our first bow right there. I like leaving that cow ribbon and that red and pink on top because it really pulls that cow in. So you girls must know each other, and I love that. Love it, love it. Welcome, guys. So now what we're going to do 
is we're going to do one more bow and we're going to put it down here. We're going to put this next bow right down here. And um, I'm going to leave the tails just a little longer on it. So let's get the handy dandy bow maker. <laughs> yeah, I'm a madhouse. I'm like Edward Scissorhands, guys, when it comes to cutting the ribbon. Okay. So this one down here can basically be about the same size. So let's do a seven inch tail. Let's go ahead and make a um, six inch loop. Let's go ahead and make another one. And then what ribbon did we use? We used uh, black. We used our bandana. Seven. No, you don't apologize for nothing. I like characters. I love it. I'm a character too. We all are. Yes, we are. <laughs> and I like to have fun. And I like everyone to join in and have fun. Love it. Okay. Then we went with a little black. Those were all done at six inches. So now we're just going to go down to five inches. Yeah, laughter is the best medicine for everything, guys. Everything. Love to laugh. Laughter is good for the soul. Okay, then we're going to do pink. Yeah, it does. <laughs> My husband, boy, he's feisty tonight. Girls, y'all might have to come over here and show him who's boss. Oh, that would have been sweet. <laughs> I wouldn't mind me a little Chippendale. But what I would probably get is those little chipmunks, you know. And that wouldn't be very fun. Well, they are cute. <laughs> yes, it is a velvet. It's velvet in the center. Yes, it is. And it lays really, really nice. Okay, so now we're going to do the moo cow. Oh, I was going to make long tails. Well, too late now. See, y'all distracted me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's a good distraction. It'll look just fine. It's going to be four inch. Four inch. I already got one going that way. And let's put our little red one right in the middle again. About a three inch. I like a big center loop unless it's just on the grapevine and I like a small one. 
I got two more pipe cleaners. Twist them together. <laughs> Any man in uniform, you know. Full belt and hard hat. You ladies. <laughs> okay, let's pull this off. Poke it down in there. Push and pull. <laughs> yeah, the uniform. I always thought a man looked real nice in a uniform. Very nice in a uniform. Okay, let's get to boogieing with these. Stack up. This should be down. This one should be up. We go. That'll work. Gorgeous. Gorgeousness. And put our little deal right there. Oh, cowboy. <laughs> Okay, let's, yeah, let's put it just like that. Get my handy dandy weaving needle. not having um well my grandkids are older so when you say that it brings back um old mem old and fond memories of cartoons do the rocking we're gonna rock again here guys Pull on it wide. Do it tight. It's the chocolate wine. <laughs> okay. We go. There's the other loop. Okay. Here we go, guys. It's a loop. Got that one a little shorter. Not quite as much, except I don't like the cut. There we go. Sort of separate those. That's an old one too, right? Okay. We'll just have to go around and fix my ribbons all the way around it. Twice. 
voila. And here is our gorgeous cow. I may have to tighten that bow up a little bit because I want it to stand loud and proud. There we go, guys. So did anyone choose a name? Thank you, Elga. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, guys. Pinky. Gorgeous Pinky. <laughs> and I will um, fix my tails, take a picture, and put it on my page. Hi, Tanisha. Thank Bessie. Now I know, right? I like that name, Bessie. Oh, Michael. <laughs> Hot Lips. Oh, yeah, from MASH. Hot Lips Hulahan. I remember that. So cool. Okay, guys, this was so much fun tonight. Um, Y'all bring such joy to me, and you put a smile on my face. I love it every time I'm on here and y'all join me. So um, invite your friends, whatever. Francie. <laughs> And um, I will um, be here Friday. I'm not Friday, Wednesday. Wednesday, and the time is at 7 p.m., not 6. 7 p.m. Wednesday. So, yay. Well, it was nice meeting you too, Cindy and Tammy. I won't be live tomorrow, but I will Wednesday. I've got a few more irons to brush out, and then I probably will start doing lives every night during the week. So, um, but um, I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday right now at 7 o'clock. So, if y'all haven't followed me, jump on there, follow me, set for notifications, because if I get bored during the night, I craft. And that way, maybe if you're up and about, y'all can keep me company. Drink coffee with me. Drink wine with me. Shoot, you never know. Even though I could only have like a two sips and I'd be on my butt. Thanks, Janie. I'm glad you had fun. Okay, guys. Um, until Wednesday, God bless. Stay safe. And I'll see y'all there. Um, or right here. Okay. 7 Central Time, yes, I go on at 7 Central Times. Thank you, Susan. 7 Central, Texas Time, God's Country. <laughs> Y'all know I'm just joking. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, did you? I